Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Seiko Prospects 200 meter diver. It's automatic, made in Japan, and the reference number is SBDY059. It's the first Seiko I've had on the channel. I've had my eye on this particular model for a while, and specifically the Seiko Prospect Street Series Desert Automatic. The made in Japan version, as opposed to the SRPE29K1 US and European model. I purchased the watch from SeiyaJapan.com. It arrived very quickly and well packaged. It's the first time I've used them. I love the little touches like the branded polishing cloth and the Seiko 2021 brochure. They didn't have to do this. The watch was priced around £363, and once you've paid the import taxes to get the watch into the UK, you can add on another £83. But do you know what? You're still paying under the listed UK retail for the European model, so I'm very happy with this. This is an ISO compliant watch. The Prospects stands for Professional Specifications. And I like that on this watch, the Prospects X printed on the dial lines up with the three bolts of the shroud and the crown at four o'clock. Nice attention to detail. The Street Series was released in 2018 with a range of solar powered models. And like many, I was holding off for the automatics to be released. It was the history and the style of the watch that attracted me to it. The shroud protecting the case and bezel I thought was quite unique and a clever idea. This is stainless steel and what I believe is covered in a DLC coating. This stands for diamond-like carbon and it allows the steel to take on diamond-like qualities. So essentially it should be more scratch resistant. It was this protective shroud that gives the watch the tuner nickname, and I've also heard it been described as a hockey puck as well. It's designed um, with space to enable you to grip the 120 click one-way bezel. When viewed from above, the watch looks like a can of tuna. Although this Safari tuner is in reality not quite true to the K-shape of the original, as the original tuners were lugless and therefore more resembled those shapes. Seiko say the Street Series is inspired by the original 1975 Seiko divers. This new timepiece features the same iconic outer protector, so the shroud, in a more compact design, perfect for urban living. The first tuner was released in 1975 after seven years of development, and this watch is known as the grandfather tuner, and is the most desirable one if you're a collector to try and get hold of. This was a 600 meter water resistant automatic watch with a monocoque case. The version created after the grandfather tuner gained fame as it was worn by James Bond, then Roger Moore. This was a 600 meter professional court dive watch. It was the Seiko 7549-7009, the golden tuner. The Bond film was for your eyes only in 1981. Back to my Desert Safari tuner. It's a 43 millimeter case. It wears smaller though because of the 12.7 millimeter height combined with the fact that the watch tapers in towards the top because of the shroud. And the crown also sits comfortably at four o'clock. It comes on a long strap and it's very comfortable to wear. You can see there's a leather pattern process that's been applied um, and it's a high strength silicon strap. The watch houses Seiko's 4R36 movement. It's hackable with a day-date complication, 41 hour power reserve, and is accurate to minus 35 seconds plus 45 seconds per day. I have to say at this point, winding the movement and using the crown is a joy. It's a very smooth process. The crown isn't signed though. I do like the fact that it takes advantage of the DLC coating, just like the rest of the case. Of course, the watch is 200 meters water resistant and we have applied markers that rest upon the sand colored dial. Along with the color of the strap and the hint on the bezel is why this watch is known as the Desert Safari model. I love the wave motif on the case back. It's really well done. The loom on the watch is Seiko's Lumi Bright and it's phenomenal. I'm really pleased, really impressed. I love that the bezel has the first 20 minutes loomed as well and it glows in a bright bluish green. So what's the difference between the model I'm showing you here, the made in Japan version SBDY059 and the SRPE 29K1 European and US model? The difference is you have made in Japan printed on the dial as opposed to just the movement reference. And also I absolutely love this, the English Japanese date wheel. The SRPE 29K1 model, the European model and US model has the English Spanish date wheel. So this is the reason I went, I wanted to go for the made in Japan model. 
Overall, I'm so happy with this watch and it's been a great first introduction to Seiko for me and it won't be the last Seiko watch I have on this channel. I've got more content coming soon. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.